Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another week of your weekly group by news. I see quite a few people. Hello, Manless, Abdullah, says for crummy, Pico IK, don't know how to pronounce your name, Bookmonger, Thought Thy Mo, Tenor Madness, Bree Wonderful, SK Josie, and KSJ. Thanks, guys, for joining in at the start of the stream. Hopefully, everyone's doing great tonight. I also see a Malk coming in. Thanks for joining in as well. So tonight is another one of those special streams. By special, I mean that it is a sponsored stream. So you guys can see down below. And don't forget to execute the sponsor command to see all of the wonderful links that I have provided there. Oh, Iowa, thanks for joining in. Subscribing at tier one as well. Subscribe for 19 month. Excellent, excellent, thank you so much. So welcome everyone to the show. My name is Merlin. Every week, or mostly every week, Sundays at 7.30 p.m. PDT, we talk about the weekly group buy news. Basically, we cover everything mechanical keyboard related group buys from keyboards, switches, desk mats, you name it. And we try to cover as much of what's starting and ending for the following week. This specific episode covers anything tonight, September 11th, all the way till Saturday, September 17th. And as I said earlier, today is a sponsored stream. My sponsor and the vendor that I buy most of my stuff from is actually Divinity. Divinity is located all the way in California. They do have very frequent restocks and they are one of the fastest shippers in the community right now. Um, in fact, one of the things that I'll talk about later is they do have quite a few popular keyboards that you can buy straight from there. Like for, for example, if you bought like a GMMK Pro, even though Keychron, um, you still have to ship it from China. And the same with a lot of the KBD fans boards. But if you buy it from Divinity, it's already here in the United States. Make sure you check them out. Um, kindly use that link or use discount code wizard to get 5% off. You'll get that discount and you will also help support this channel. But yeah, let's talk about the weekly group by news. Starting off with ending group buys. Our first item expiring tonight is Milky Way Fuyu expiring tomorrow. You have quite a few base kits available here, all for $90 each. You have your Katakana, your Latin, and your Hiragana. You also have a 40s kit, Latin 40s, um, space bars, accent kits and two artisans here for $37.50 each, along with a $20 dust mat. So yeah, let's take a look at this a little more closely. Let's look at that. Yeah, for those of you who don't know who Milky Way is, Milky Way is one of the more popular PBT Cherry Profile vendors currently in our hobby. Yeah, I have quite a few Milky Way sets myself and I've been quite pleased with them. So yeah, if you wanted to buy any one of these base kits, um, you're looking to spend $90 and if you were to buy every single kit, every artisan and the desk mat that I just talked about, this is quite a expensive all in. You're looking at roughly $450, $450 to go all in on this key set. Um, thankfully, Milky Way doesn't take too long to deliver to you. So the estimated time of delivery is Q2 2023. Reminds you of Noel. Yeah, I can see that as well. But yeah, this guy expires September 12. So make sure you make your purchase by tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Next key set that is expiring is actually also expiring tomorrow and is also another PBT Cherry profile. This one is, there we go. This one's one of my favorite ones actually. This one is Rutra Studios Camping. So check it out, check it out. For 79 bucks. In fact, you also have two base kits here. You have your classic base kit and your burgundy base kit. You can choose whichever one you prefer. Novelties for 25 and space bars for 19. I see Pico IK Redeemed Hydrate. Thank you very much. But yeah, 79 bucks for a base kit. Pretty decent, even cheaper than Milky Way Fuyu. Um, Wutra hasn't been making keycaps for, for very long. Well, neither has Milky Way in my opinion, but Wutra is a lot newer to the game at this. So the classic base is what 
what um, camping is known for. The burgundy one is a little bit different. Love the novelties here. If you were to buy both base kits and the novelties and extras, you're looking at spending $200 to go all in. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. Of course, if you were to buy the corresponding Icky 68, that's another 150, I believe. Um, camping, however, will be delivered to you in Q1 2023. That is an estimated time of delivery, Q1 2023, one quarter earlier than Milky Way Fuyu. Let's see, any other stuff I can talk about here? Yep, all sided Daiso PBT. Yep, ending tomorrow, Q1 2023. Very cool, very cool. In fact, I think the first time we talked about this, um, there is currently a GMK camping in the works. Um, well, the group buy is al already done. It's manufacturing, it's supposed to ship soon. So when I first talked about this, I was joking that um, this could potentially arrive to you faster than GMK camping R3. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. This guy expires tomorrow. Not bad for the price. The next one isn't really a key set and, and it's a twofer. So I guess I'll just post both of them at the same time since they're technically the same thing, just different profiles. First one is DCS RGBY. And the next one is GMK RGBY. This, these are basically, you know, extra modifiers in RGBYK as well. Look at that. So you have your choice of DCS for 60 bucks or GMK Cherry Profile for 60 bucks. So you can choose between DCS Profile or Cherry Profile, both ABS, both 60 bucks. Okay, so the thing about this, this is still GMK and everything goes into a queue. The fact that this is a much smaller kit doesn't mean it's going to be manufactured faster or deliver faster. It just goes into a queue. So based on other GMK sets that have gone through, this should be delivering in August of 2023. So yeah, quite quite a long time. I think the DCS profile one will, might be a little sooner. Who knows, maybe. I know DCS is starting to get backed up as well. But yeah, if you guys are looking for some RGBYK modifiers, pick whichever one works for you both expiring on the 16th, both 60 bucks each. The next set that is expiring is GMK Frost Witch R2. There we go. For 135 bucks, you have a base kit supporting all the way to full size, as you guys can see here. Um, keep in mind, this base set has sub legends in it. And of course, if you did not like those sub legends, you can always just go for the regular Latin ones for 60 bucks. Um, they've also got novelties for 30. You guys can see here. Emilia, of course, Emilia. Desmat for 20. And of course, a, a Hibby made artisan for $50. So to go all in here, buying everything from the base, the novelty is Aladdin, the Desmat, and the Hibby, you're looking to spend roughly $300. So as many of you know, I can't exactly see the color purple. So to me, this just looks like a, a blue set. <laughs> look, look, look at all that. Champurado says, oh, subscribe, it's Prime. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, Oblotsky did the renders. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Not too many renders provided, unfortunately. So yeah, um, estimated time of delivery because this is a GMK key set. It is August 2023. There was much fanfare to um, the round one, which is why we have a round two. So pretty sure people like this set a lot. So yeah, as far as I know, those are the only key sets that are expiring this week. So once again, just as a quick recap of the key caps. Milky Way Fuyu expiring tomorrow, Wutra Camping also expiring tomorrow, DCS RGBYK along with its GMK equivalent expiring on the 16th, and last but not the least, GMK Frost Rich Round 2 also expiring on the 16th. 
out of these five key sets, which ones are the audience most interested in? Let me know in the chat. Save some money for the week. Frost Witch by a mile. Pass. Nothing grabs me this week. Frost Witch. Frost Witch on extra. So it'll be a lot. Frost Witch. Frost Witch. Frost Witch. Frost Witch. GMK RGB. None. Frost Witch takes too long. Frost Witch. Fuyu and camping have me torn. For everyone who is saying Frost Witch, are you buying this because of its ties to the anime? Or are you buying it because you like the color or both? Give me some context as to why it's so popular. Abdullah says color. Just color. 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 Okay. Color alone, both. Don't forget option three. Flipping it. Oh man. If you could see purple, you would understand. I do like the anime. This set looks blue to me, and it's a good blue, but I don't think there's enough going on for me to really like it. So Frost Switch is actually not something I would buy. Maybe that would change if I could see purple, but who knows. What I'm actually looking to purchase is the Wutria Camping, and I'm gonna go for the Classic Base Kit. Actually, the burgundy one looks nice too. Hmm. Now, I don't have GMK camping, so I'll probably just go for the classic base kit and definitely the novelties. Um, 79 is not a expensive amount for a key set with this much compatibility. So yeah, this will probably be what I go for. Um, Fuyu, I think it's too plain. I already have so many like white key sets. Um, like I explained earlier, neither of the two DCS or GMK RGBYK kits are appealing to me. Maybe if it was six years ago, it would be. So yeah, for me this week, I'd probably choose Wucho Studios Camping. We do have one keyboard expiring this week. Well, I guess we could count two if we consider the, um, the Wucho Studios, uh, you know, Icky 68 combo, right? Here we go. This is the Monoke Standard. For $140, you guys get a TKL. Here, let's, let's get a better picture. Here we go, look at that. The Monoke Standard TKL. You get to choose your switches, MX Brown, MX Red, or Silent Red. For $140, um, yeah, you also have your choice of blue, pink, Oh, that's weird. It's actually lilac, white, and I guess another pink. Um, delivery time is going to be 2022, this November 2022. And let's see what else can I say about it. Injection molded ABS case. The plate is polycarb. The mount is gasket strip mount. Stabilizers are cherry PCB mounts. Let's see. Keycaps are going to be double shot PBT series one. Battery comes with the 1000 milliamp hour one. Connectivity is Bluetooth, BLE 5.1, USB C to C. And unfortunately, this is not QMK powered, so you're not going to be able to program it as follows. So yeah, look at that. Let's take a look at the key sets that, that it comes with. So you can buy this too if you're if you just want the key set for $74.99. But look at that. $74.99 um, gives you there we go. This one right there. Gives you pretty large compatibility. Numpad, TKL, even split space bars. That's really nice. That is really good. Yeah, look at that. Um Recently, there's been a string of budget TKLs of sorts. So you, so it started off with the NK87EE, followed by the Tiger 80, which is what I'm using right now, actually. Tiger 80, and now we've got um, this guy right here, the Monoke Standard. Um, I am a bit upset that it is not QMK powered, but you know that they they went like the Bluetooth route, which works. See, what does that sticker say? Designed in Singapore and Malaysia, manufactured in Taiwan. Very nice. 
cool, cool, cool. See, if I were to pick one of these, I'd probably go for the pink, just because I don't have a pink TKL yet. Like I said, I'm gonna go for the pink one. If I do choose to buy it, I've already got like so many boards. In fact, I'm actually trying to buy another Tiger 80. But yeah, check it out guys. This guy, this group buy expires on the 15th. So that's what, that's Wednesday. This coming Wednesday, 140 bucks, no matter which color or which switches you choose. An estimated time of delivery is November, 2022. So just in time for Christmas, I like to say. If you were to buy every single group I just talked about from the five key sets to the Mono K standard, buying every single kit in a key set, all the artisans, all of the desk mats, we are looking at a grand total this week of $1,221. So yeah, that's been consistent every week now. We've been hitting less than $1,500 every week these days. But yeah, total price $1,221. Um, don't forget that does not include any shipping, taxes, or applicable custom fees. A couple people have asked, so Merlin, what if we just buy like the base kit? Like we don't buy any other kit, we don't buy any artisan to join the base kit of every single group buy. You're looking to spend $564. Also does not include shipping, customs, and taxes. So yeah, um, let's talk about some in-stocks. Some in-stocks are relatively easy to get items. So as many of you know, I like to get all of my in-stock information from Thoxstock.com. Thoxstock.com is created by one of my many viewers on this channel, Scott Waters. He pops in from time to time. It aggregates pretty much as many in-stock things he can find and no he's not like putting every board on Amazon Best Buy or like your favorite big box or these are all from like you know from the small or I guess the larger keyboard retailers all around the world it's not just the United States I'm not going to talk about every single one of them but there are two items this week that I would like to highlight one of them is actually sitting on my desk right now just because I love it so much um, the first item I'd like to highlight is the Katie Fans Tiger 80. So I do have it on the Divinikis page just because I am located in the United States and this episode sponsor is Divinikis. But yeah, check them out. Um, the Tiger 80. So if you guys remember my build stream and my unboxing, um, KBD Fans actually sent me both the aluminum and the Tiger 80 Lite. And I absolutely love the sound of both. You know, I, I, I couldn't really choose which one I thought was better sounding, better feeling. They were both good in their own regard, right? So I got super curious and was like, what would happen if I combined the two? So what I have in front of me is the aluminum top from the regular Tiger 80 and the plastic bottom from the Tiger 80 Lite. Everything fits seamlessly and I think this results in a better sounding board and a better feeling board on top of it. For 245 bucks, you get your choice between deep space, black, silver, gray, arctic sky, and acrylic. So these are all shipping from uh, down in California. So if you're here within the United States, you should get this product three to four days, three to four days or so. Yeah, look at that. Looks pretty good. 225 for the acrylic version. Okay, that drops it down. It's only the deep space and only the deep space and the Arctic sky because it's a different color is what makes it different. Um, is what makes it more more expensive. But yeah, absolutely love the board. If you guys have the time and the money, definitely try buying both the light and the aluminum and trying them together trying them together. So yeah, make sure you guys check that out. And of course, if you do buy it from Divinikis, don't forget to use discount code WIZARD. The next in-stock board that I'd like to show is actually an extra. Here we go. Quite a few months ago. Wow, this was... It might even be a year ago at this point. This is the Day Off 60. 
So yeah, I built this quite some time ago. This is a 60% with a rotary encoder on the left side and a small macro column also on the left side. Um, absolutely loved how this board felt. It was, you know, like right now, one of my favorite boards is the, or one of my favorite 60% is the Quarky 60. I'd say if, 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 if I didn't have that 60%, I would have chosen this, but unfortunately, um, Nick's keyboards didn't let me keep the prototype, but oh, this was, this was so nice. This was also Cerakoted and all that. Um, I brought it to the Canon Keys meetup here in Seattle, and for some reason, everyone was commenting more on the rotary encoder than on the keyboard itself. People were, people were like, this rotary encoder is the smoothest we have ever tried. Um, I talked with Nick's keyboard and he was like, uh, I didn't really use a different component. Maybe it's the knob itself. Who knows? Who knows? The Prof Husky subscribing at tier one. Thank you so much. Subscribe for 15 months as well. Thank you for your 15 months of support. Awesome. But yeah, for 450, you guys can choose between Smoke, Sniper Gray, Tactical Gray, Stormtrooper White, Ridgeway Blue, Black Cherry, or Crushed Orchid. And of course, you can. Oh, A Stock is sold out, but B Stock is not. Cool. You have your choice between aluminum and brass. I believe I picked an aluminum plate. Let me actually look it up on YouTube. Let's see, Mac Merlin Day Off 60. There we go. That's my Day Off 60 build. Let's move on to starting group buys. Um, I've been mentioning this a long time, but it seems like um, we seem to not have too many group buys these days, or rather when we have a group buy, the number of items in the group buys seem to be bigger. So less group buys, but larger individual group buys. But yeah, let's talk about our very first starting group buy. This one is a key set starting up on the 16th, which is this Friday. All right, this one is KBM Fairy. Perfect, starting on September 16th and running till October 16th, you have a Cherry Profile PBT die subset manufactured by KBM, which is, I think we've only ever talked about one other KBM set. Yeah, look at this, base kit. This reminds me of a Milky Way set that I really liked. Yeah, look at that, that has a lot of compatibility. Also has a bunch of split space bars down here on the bottom, good stuff. 40s. Wow, that is humongous um, compatibility for a 40s kit. You got space bars, novelty. Oh, I like these novelties. These look cute. Look at a couple of these vendors. Wow. I really like the colors of this set. And I'm hoping that the actual key set will look as good as these vendors because these vendors have really nice um, Legend sharpness. Look at that. Then dust mats. Looks good. Forest dust mat. I think I would go for the fairy dust mat for this. Of course, there's a metal artisan um, by Acero Foundry. Cool. Delicate. Oh, that's so cute. And Reiki. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this can be purchasable on Oda Keeps, Desk Hero, Lyco Studio, Protozo Studio, Yusha Kobo, Pantheon Keys, All Caps, and the Keep Store. Um, pricing is still TBA. Um, KBM is a manufacturer of resistance frequencies, but they, um, here we go. It is a Cherry Profile Die Sub PBT set, but KBM is the manufacturer, it is not a profile. But yeah, um, I really like the set. I'm hoping, well, I don't have much knowledge of KBM or what their other sets was. I think we only talked about one other KBM set and I can't remember how cheap the price was, but I would guess that they would be similar to Milky Way pricing. Like I, I, could, I could imagine this being anywhere between 70 and 90 bucks for just the base kit. 
the 40s one that one oh gosh with the number of with the number of keys in this key set maybe 50 bucks i don't know definitely definitely will be paying attention to this because i like the colors but yeah check it out if you guys have time this guy starts off on the 16th make sure you join the discussion on geek hack next item that is starting is also starting on on the 16th that's friday by the way there we go this one is a milky way set which is which i actually really like as well this one is milky way pavilion the inspiration inspired by the beautiful butterflies and moths that flutter around butterfly pavilions cool very nice i i really like the colors for this especially these accents so it looks like you have quite a few base kits available you have the cherry base kit and the serif base kit so you got novelties kit full of butterflies monarch kit death's head kit okay luna kit 40s kit, Nord kit, and Space Bars kit. Okay. Looks pretty good. Any renders? Yes, renders. There we go. Oh, that Serif font looks terrible. Oh, that looks so bad. Oh. Why is it all Serif? Is there no cherry? All right, so, so just on the colors alone, I think this is excellent. I love the look of the set. But give me, give me one in cherry font. Give me one in cherry font, come on. Okay, there we go. There we go, that, that looks great now. Beautiful. Be wonderful says, oh, oh no, I'm a sucker for a three moths and butterfly they picked, all three. Oh boy, looks, looks like I may be jumping in on both KBM Fairy and Milky Way Pavilion. Oh, that looks great on a yellow board. Oh, this, this just works so well. Okay, let's see what the dust mats are. Oh, interesting. I think I like the plain one better. Let's see, looks like it's going to be sold in, on Milky Way, of course, Mex and Co, Kanata Keys, Eloquent Clicks, Prototype Design Studios, All Caps, and Stacks KB. Um, still no pricing, but aiming for a less than $100 base kit. And usually Milky Way is less than 100 bucks, because if you remember the very first key set we talked about, which is Milky Way Fuyu, that one was 90 bucks. And let's see, what was our other Milky Way set? Yeah, that was the only Milky Way set that we talked about today, actually. All right, as far as I know, those are the only two key sets that are starting up next week. Once again, we'll see what the audience says once we get to the audience group by section. But the one keyboard that I know of that's starting, well, it's not just a keyboard, it also comes with a numpad. This one starts up tomorrow. Oh, this is the OSA V2 by Victus Design. This is another one of the blind assassin boards. So yeah, it comes with, well, you can choose either the OSA V2 or the associated numpad. They are both top mount boards, um, polycarb case, sandblasted brass or e-black or e-black plate weight. Both have a seven degree typing angle. Both are our USB type C, MX PCB with in switch LEDs, and you can also choose a Topra PCB with multiple layouts and switch housing options. The OSA V2 is 1.5 kilograms with brass weight, and the and the numpad is roughly half a kilogram with the brass plate. So yeah, let's take a look at a couple more of this. Um, group buy runs from tomorrow the 12th all the way till the 30th. Here's a couple of pricing. The OSA V2 goes anywhere from 485 to 498, and this just depending on the type of brass weight that you choose, 
The numpad goes from 255 to 260, and of course you can buy extra PCBs. Extra Topo PCB is 60, MX PCB is 45. So yeah, if you've been looking for a Topra Alice, this might just be the board for you. And you can, you can even buy a wrist rest here. Carrying case for 30, very cool. Here, let's look at a couple pictures here. Here, that's the wrist rest. I want to see the render album. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, here we go. This is the um, Handerbyte set. <laughs> Topra OSA V2, MX Numpad, Topra Numpad layouts. Very cool. Load three more images. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, this is a very unique board, and I think the price justifies that. Yeah, um, if only it wasn't an Alice style board, I probably would be jumping in on this. Like, I have typed on Alice style boards and I can type on them. They don't actually bother me anymore, but I've always thought that they don't look very aesthetic, to be honest. But yeah, this is a keyboard that starts tomorrow and runs till the 30th. So make sure you guys check it out. As far as I know, those are the only three starting group buys. This is the time that we can transition to the audience group buy section where you guys all help me out. Shaggin Wagons executed the GB list command. Thank you so much for doing that. You guys can click on that link and see what I've already talked about. In the meantime, if you find something that I haven't talked about this week, kindly whisper me what that group buy is. I do have some stipulations. Make sure it is a group buy not an interest check or well, I guess it could be an interest check if it's starting this week or, or if it's ending this week. Um, make sure you include a link so I can show everyone some context so I don't need to read through the entire group by start end dates. Make sure it's within this week anything from the 11th till, till the 17th and anything special I need to pay attention to. X-Road yes we have covered that earlier about KBM being KB manufacturing. Let's start off with bacon and tuna. Here we go. This is the, we said it's called the Mont Servin. So according to bacon and tuna, Mont Servin, a tented 65% ergo keyboard by KLC and Syrian Sir, industry, $750 for the group buy running from September 14th till September 21st on KLC. Um, Alex did a proto build last week and had some interesting thoughts. There's a cool intro video on YouTube as well. But take a look at that. That is definitely tented and I can see why this is a $750 board. That is a lot of metal on this. Dang. Look at that. That's definitely a very interesting looking board. Mott Servin Exploded View. Cool. 790 actually not not 750 solderable pcb daughter board left housing wow that's that's a lot of stuff right there that looks like a definitely yeah that's a lot of metal on the board dang very heavy says arms yeah i would imagine so 65 percent ergo dang Cool. Well, thank you very much, Bacon and Tuna, for all the information. Let's see. The next person is Resistance Frequencies. This is the What the F board. Look at that. It is a ergonomic board with some uh, Southpaw numpad, navigation keys, and macro cluster. That's that's just so weird. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, another one of those meme boards. Oh, look at that. It's three PCVs. What the heck? That's funny. KLEs. <laughs> oh, 
hot sop PCV. Okay. Options. You can choose gunmetal, lilac, e white, and raw. Oh, interesting. There's some people like raw aluminum. Timeline is going to be six months from group by close. MOQ is 100 units. Oh boy. And the cap is at 200. Interesting. Um, wow. That's all I've got to say about this. <laughs> Probably not a board I would ever buy, to be honest. Yeah, thank you very much, Resistance Frequencies. So let's go with the next one is FitLab. Handmade premium custom bags. Okay. Handmade premium custom bags. It's on round four right now, running from September 9th till October 9th. What's new? Two new model options. Cool. Custom labels are now even more customizable. Quality of the zipper design has been improved. Utility bag holds all cables. This looks like it's made of leather. Deluxe, premium, adventure, split. Okay. I actually like this one. This, this one looks pretty cool. Vintage, nice. And utility, oh boy. So these look to be, if it's less than 40%, it's 49, it goes all the way up to 79 for TKL-ish and bigger. And you get some discounts if you order more than one. Made of synthetic leather, nice, okay. Very cool. Thank you very much, FitLab. All right, next up is Infinite Nacho. Oh, this one starts tomorrow. There we go. This one is the Haven 65. This is for 350 bucks. So right now it's listed as sold out because the group buy hasn't started yet. But here we go. You can choose Temp, Iceland, Oblivion, Big Bull, Nice, Ordinance, Witch, dark and milky way you have your choice between black or silver pvd or a clear coated brass that all those look really good layout wind key with solder wind key hot swap or wind keyless solder and wind keyless hot swap very nice uh, it's an unlimited group buy lead time is five to six months will be announced after the group buy is a gasket mount board Typing angle 7.5 degree, 1.65 kilograms built. Okay. Looks pretty good. What's included comes with the case. That's really nice. The renders of every combo is great here, but I want to see the board in its entirety. There we go. So from the top down, it doesn't look any different than I'd say even like a Bacaneco, unless you put in like the blockers there. But the real aesthetic differences are in the back. That looks really neat. I like that a lot. Should be more pics on the group on the Geek Hack page. Let's see if I can find some. I think they mean the keyboard enclosure is the case. Oh, okay. No carrying case. Okay. Unfortunate. Yeah, that looks really nice right there. Oh, there we go. There is the exploded view. You can see that it's gasket mount board. Very cool. I actually like this board a lot. Very nice here. Let me paste the Geek Hack link for you for you guys to see as well. Group buy starts tomorrow. All right. Okay. So you thank you very much, Infinite Nacho, for all that information. Oh, there we go. Infinite Nacho sent me another one. All right. Here we go. This is the vector. Running from the 10th till September 30th. Retro modern PCB gasket 60%. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, what, what else can I find out about it? It's actually started yesterday. <laughs> it's 
standard edition is 620 so so pricey special edition 725 wow black You know, I think I saw this at the last Seattle meetup. This because we we have Canon keys reps here. I'm I'm gonna have to review like the footage just to see, but I I think I saw this. It looked good, but like I said earlier, I I just haven't been a big fan of sixty percent lately. You know, like. If this was a couple of years back, five, six years back, I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is the 60% that I want. You saw it at the CK meetup? Was it at the CK meetup? That was like almost a year and a half ago at this point. Yeah, I, I know I definitely saw the the new Boodleist series ones at the latest Seattle meetup. You like this keyboard, but not enough to buy it. The CK meetup in Providence, I was not at that meetup. I was talking about the CK meetup in Seattle. Anyway, check that out. I, I put the link in, in the group by list, perfect. Here we go. We have one from Jabos. This is the Loki 65. Loki 65 starting on the 17th. Oh, why are all the images loading so slowly? <laughs> it's loading so slowly, but look at that. Uh, it's giving me uh, Iron 165 vibes. Though, I like this better because of the thicker bezels. It's a Loki 65, a shape-shifting board. Interesting. Why is it a shape-shifting board? I don't get it, but it does look good. The story. Hi everyone. I'm a keyboard enthusiast residing in Singapore. Is it shape shifting because you can change the badges? Interesting. Let's see. Maybe Jabo said something else. No, all he says is that it is 395 USD. Oh, oh, oh! It looks like it's. It's different mountings. Oh, okay, I get it. It's not really shape changing. It's it's mount changing. Okay, I was thinking it's like maybe like you could make it bigger or increase the bezels or something like that. Yeah, that was a yeah. It's it's a stretch. I'll say that <laughs> shape shifting instead of mount shifting. Very cool. I do like how the board looks. I do like how the board looks. Multiple mount option, does that mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That That's what I was thinking too. Like, like when I saw shape shift shifting, I thought you could like change its aesthetics, not its internals. Yeah, but yeah, this is a cool board. Cool board, cool board. Thank you, Jabos, for sending this over. All right, okay, well, not seeing anyone else send me stuff, so let's do a quick recap of the audience group buys and we can end the stream. Say so today, the audience sent me the Mont Servant, a 10 to 65% Ergo keyboard, retailing for about 750 bucks. A huge meme board called What in the F board. Um, a handmade custom keyboard cases, Haven 65, a 65% board. There you go, that's the Vector, right there. The Vector, a 60% keyboard, running from the 10th till the 30th. And last but not the least, the Loki 65. A shape-shifting, i.e. Um, mount-changing board. You can do gasket or top mount. But yeah, I think we have come to the end of our show. Thank you everyone for joining in. Thank you everyone who sent a bunch of audience group by stuff. Um, this video will be cut down into a VOD and put on YouTube by Tuesday for all of you who didn't get a chance to watch it live. Of course, you can always, always watch the VOD on Twitch as well. But my next stream should be this coming Tuesday. I will be unboxing a board that was sent to me by Percent Studios, amongst other stuff. So if you guys are interested to see what Percent Studios sent me, definitely tune in Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. PDT. 
So I hope all of you have a good start to your week. Um, eat lots of good food. And I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye, everyone.